Hi guys, welcome to another video. Uh, this is for functional skills level one, another practice paper. And it should say pass paper two with these funny little uh, asterisks on the front. So if you're not sure which one it is, uh, you should check. Check in, it should say this on the front. I'm gonna put it in my folder. <laughs> I've called it set five for some strange reason. I don't know why. So um, yeah, if, you, if you're following my channel and you're following my Google Classroom, then uh, this will be practice set five. Yeah, but for those who are not, if it says past paper two on the front, that's the one we're, we're looking at. So obviously first one is section A, uh, that's gonna be non-calculator. You'll, you'll have uh, 25 minutes, obviously. If you do have a real exam, you know, make sure you do read the, f the front of the, the paper as well. So uh, make sure you read it carefully. Make sure you use a black pen for um, all your work. Apart from, uh, I'd say, you know, for anything to do with drawings, definitely use a pencil for that. Yeah. So let's make a start. Question one. Charity wants to collect £84,000. Charity worker says we have collected three quarters of the £84,000. How much money has the charity collected? You must show you're working three marks. So the first step is we have to write this in, as a number. Yeah, you'll get one mark just for doing that. So obviously, how do you write 84,000? Well, that's going to be 84 and three zeros in the end. Yeah, so 84,000 just by writing that you'll get one mark. Um, so we need three quarters of this. So we want three quarters of 84,000. Yeah, and how do you do it without your calculator? There's a couple of ways. A couple of ways you could do it. You could work out one quarter first, or well, one quarter of 84,000. Um, you could halve it and halve it again. You could do it that way. Or you can just go straight into uh, dividing by the denominator in this case. So you can do 84,000 divided by four, how many fours go into that? Yep, and everyone's favorite, use bus stop method. How many fours go into eight? That's twice. How many fours go into four? Once, and you got three zeros on the end. So one quarter would be 21,000. Three quarters is gonna be three times that. So again, without your calculator, we'll have to do it like this. And what we're going to get. So 0 times 3 is 0. That's 0. That's 0. 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. So your answer should be 63,000. Don't forget to put it in your answer box. Yep, 3 marks. Uh, obviously, there are other ways. That's probably the best way of doing it. Um, or like I said, you could have done halve it, halve it again to get 1 quarter. You're still going to get three quarters by multiplying by three. Yeah, so once you get one quarter, it's dead easy. But yeah, these methods you definitely need to know. 100% it is essential. Um, things like the bus stop method and multiplication as well. Yeah. Let's move on. Question 2a. Work out 28 minus 20 divided by 4. Right, so straight away, if you get anything like this, you should notice if you get a really long calculation like this um you should instantly think of bid mass or bod mass so some people call it bod mass some people call it bid mass it's the same thing it just means it's just the order that you do things in so obviously b stands for brackets i for indices or if it's o it's other d for division m for multiplication and the very last things you do is addition and subtraction so don't necessarily think you have to do it in the order it's written you have to do it in the order of bid mass yeah so in this case which one takes priority definitely the division yes you have to do division first so in this case I've got to do 20 divided by 4 which is going to give me 5 so now I've got 28 minus 5 as my next line and there's only one thing left to do so it's 28 take away 5 which gives you 23 so if you get any other answer apart from 23 it's definitely going to be wrong yeah so don't do it in the order it's written always do it with bid mass or pod mass 
part B, work out 6 squared. Yeah, you should know what this funny little symbol means. So this funny little 2 in the corner. That literally means squared. So that means 6 times by itself. So don't think, you know, don't fall in that trap of thinking it's 6 times 2, which is, which is completely wrong. It's 6 multiplied by itself. So it's 6 times 6, which gives you 36. Yeah, obviously your multiplication table comes in handy for that one. Part C, work out minus 25, minus 14. Ooh, this one threw a lot of people, you know, when I was marking um, everyone's paper, a lot of people did get this wrong. So just be careful, you're on minus 25, you've got, 20, you've got minus 25, you're going to minus 14. So it's actually getting colder. You know, if you think of temperatures, if you're, if you're going to take away 14, it's getting colder. So for this, I would use, definitely use a number line. Yeah, if I use a number line uh, to show, to illustrate what I'm talking about. So I'm on minus 25. I'm here. Let's say minus 25 is, is here. Yep, for example. Okay. So I'm here. I'm going to minus 14 so if i'm minusing i'm gonna go that way if i'm adding i'm gonna go that way yeah so if i'm minusing 14 let's do one big jump let's do one big jump of let's take away 10 first that's an easy one yeah so if i take away 10 to minus 25 remember it's getting colder going this way i'm gonna get minus 35 yeah so what have i got left to do i need to minus another four from uh because originally i had to minus 14 didn't i so i've already minus 10 let's minus another four let's do another big jump and minus four so if you minus four now you're going to get minus 39 as your answer yeah that's where you're going to end up so your answer should be minus 39 a lot of people getting Positive answers can't be positive. Definitely not. A lot, of think, a lot of people make that mistake of thinking, oh, if it's a minus and a minus, it's got to be a plus. It's not always the case. Yeah, in this case, in fact, you have to use the number line. And um, obviously, in this case, we've still got a minus, haven't we? So don't think, don't fall in that trap of doing um, minus and a minus is a plus and all that. That's only if you're multiplying or dividing by a negative number yeah so if you multiply two negative numbers together yes you're gonna get a positive answer or if you divide by two negative numbers yeah you're gonna get a positive answer but only if you're multiplying or dividing those rules apply yeah if it's just if you're just adding and taking away you have to use the number line yeah think of the number line by uh if you're it, only if you're adding and taking away um, and this method seems to work, this, this, this method here with the number line. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next one. Question three, Zenat wants to buy edging to put along the edges of, of her lawn. Okay, she has this sketch of the lawn. The lawn is in the shape of a rectangle. Each metre of edging costs £5. Zenit thinks the total cost of the edging will be £360. Is Zenit correct? Show why you think this three marks for part A. Uh, there's going to be a part B as well. Okay. Right, so whenever you get any question like this, anything to do with the shape, any rectangle or anything like that, always ask yourself, is it area or is it perimeter? It's either going to be one of those or sometimes it could be both of those you know totally depends on the question usually it's just one of those do look for clues in the question so look, what, let's see what the clues are so where's this edging actually going she's going to put it along the edges so it's going to go around this shape so when you're thinking about putting it around the shape definitely to do with perimeter yeah so in this case um, we have to use perimeter to work this out. So obviously perimeter is just out of all the sides. So uh, let's do Let's do that. So if that's 22 at the bottom That's got to be 22 at the top 
And if that's 14 on that side, that's got to be 14 on that side. So perimeter, let's weigh this out first. So you've got to do 14 plus 14 plus 22 plus 22. And again, this is without your calculator, so you're going to have to work it out yourself. Well, that is... 14 add 14 is 28. Yep. 22 plus 22. Let's work that out. That's going to be 44. And now let's do 28 plus 44. Uh, 8 plus 4 is 12. Carry the 1. 2 plus 4 is 6. Plus the 1 is 7. So you should have... These are in meters <clears throat> so you have to show 72 meters as part of your answer that's the perimeter so we've probably got one mark already for that right so that's the perimeter but it's not asking for that is it so what is he asking for uh each meter of edging costs five pounds seen it thinks the total cost of the edging will be 360 pounds is it correct so we've got 72 meters or we need 72 meters that's what we need each meter costs five pound so if every meter if every meter costs five pound i've got 72 meters or i need 72 meters i'll need to do 72 multiplied by five yeah so let's work this out two fives are 10 carry the one seven fives are 35 plus the one i carried is 30 Six. Oh, right. So it's going to be three hundred and sixty pounds. She thinks. Yep. Total cost will be three hundred sixty pounds. Is Zenit correct? Yep. Definitely. So you'll say yes. Cost will be three hundred and sixty pounds. Yep. And there's your three marks right there. So we get one mark for obviously. 72 meters working that out you'll get one mark for working out 360 and you'll get your final third mark for saying yes she's correct yep that's part a done let's move on to part b use a reverse calculation to, ch to show a check of your answer oh they love to throw these in so whenever it says show a check you should always do a reverse calculation anyway but this they've they've literally they've just told you what to do so reverse calculation just means you just work backwards so you have to start with your answer so we have to start with 360. what was the last thing we did we did this multiplication didn't we 72 times by 5 gives us 360. so just do the reverse of of that that last thing we did so the opposite of multiply is divide. So we'll have to do 360 divided by five. And we should get, if we've done it right, we should get 72, which is what we originally said, didn't we? So let's work this out. Five into three doesn't go. Five into the 36 goes seven times because seven fives are 35. Remainder one that goes there five into ten goes two yeah there you go yeah it's 72 and just by showing that 72 meters which is what we said before uh gets you your extra mark yep that's that one done let's move on to the next one question four gareth wants to know the amount of water needed to fill his pond the pond is in the shape of a cuboid as shown okay one meter cubed is a thousand liters. Calculate the amount of water needed to fill the pond. Give your answer in liters. Four marks for this question, but a lot of people did get this wrong. So um, again, you know, if you get this type of question, if you get a cuboid and it's talking about meters cubed, definitely to do with volume. Yeah. So what is volume? <clears throat> How do you work out volume? So volume is um you could think of it as just an extension of area area is length times width isn't it for a 2d shape we've got a 3d shape so you've got length times width times i call it depth yeah so how how much it's going into the page um 
which is technically your three dimensions, which is this one, this one, and this one. Yeah, so you've got to multiply these three together. Again, we haven't got a calculator. You're going to have to do this manually. So you can do this any order, in any order as well. 4 times 2 times 0.9. Yeah? So just by showing this, you'll get one mark that we need to do this. Now we need to work it out. So, well, 4 times 2 is 8. So I've got to do 8 times 0.9. Let's do it here on the side. 0.9. Multiply by 8, let's do it like this. Uh, 9 eighths are 72, carry the 7. 0 times 8 is 0, plus the 7 is 7. So I'll get 72. Don't forget, this had one decimal place. This has got 0 decimal places. So all together, I've got one decimal place which goes there so my answer for the volume should be 7.2 and these were in meters weren't they so that's going to be meters cubed yeah so i've got 7.2 meters cubed of water okay uh we need an answer in liters though yeah give your answer in liters it says so i need to change it so i have to use this yeah, so we have to use this, what they've told us here. So if one meter cubed is 1,000 litres, I've got 7.2 meter cubed. So let's write this down. One meter cubed equals 1,000 litres. Let me just scroll down a little bit. <clears throat> so when you write it down like this, this is what we're told. Yeah, We're told that one meter cubed equals 1,000 litres. We've got 7.2 meter cubed, so let's put that underneath this one. Yeah. How do I get from this to this? Well, it's getting bigger, isn't it? One. It's gone from one to a thousand, so it's it's getting bigger. It's multiplying by a thousand. So I've got to do the same to this as well. Yeah, because it's proportional. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. So I've got to do 7.2 times by 1,000. Without your calculator, a really good way of doing it is moving the decimal point. So it's going to jump three times, yeah? And it's going to go this way. So one, two, three, and it lands there. So I've got zero underneath there, zero underneath that arch as well. So it should be... 7,200 litres. And that should be your answer. Yep. And that's four marks just for doing that. Okay. 7,200. Yeah, just make sure you put your answer in the answer box. Four marks for doing that. Wow. Um, seems like a lot of marks, you know, just for doing... It's not that much working out, to be honest. I mean, the only work, bit of working out that I did was this multiplication here and this multiplication here. I mean, it was only two things that I did, to be honest. So, yeah, definitely, you need to know this. This is important. How to work out volume. If you don't know this, then there's no chance of doing this question. So, definitely, if you're not sure on how to do this question, maybe have a look at volume again. Uh, it's just an extension of area. Yep. Yep. And that's your answer for that one. So that's section A done. Uh, I'm going to have a look at section B in the next video.